As you would have known, the review from the Ministry of Finance and Attorney General Office is back. The city treasurer who is responsible for negotiations on any financial matter of the council and the town clerk are looking at all the recommendations that would have been made by both ministries and they're moving forward to look at um, having the GRE rules and regulations, having the Ghana tourism involved, having all that was recommended to ensure that the Park City Solutions people are guided by those rules and regulations of the, of the city. All the financial um, regulations that they have to have will be put in order. And after, there will be a delay in the launching on the 1st of September, but sometime thereafter, the launching will take place when we would have met all the recommendations of the Attorney General and the Ministry of Finance. With regards to um, the recommendation being um, slanted to the sides of investors, would that, that particular... That would also be addressed. Yes. That will be addressed. Um, the time span will be addressed. The cost will be addressed, as I said. And it's unfair that the media would have taken it that we would have granted um, permission for exemption. The council in itself if we are buying anything, while we are entitled to exemption, we have to go through the Ministry of Finance. We have to apply for that. So it, it wasn't fair to say that we would have granted exemption to them. If they're employing poor persons to do a job, the person has to follow the rules and regulations of the Ministry of Labor, which is they have to have the Social Security number, they have to pay the NIS, they have to pay the PAEYE, everything they have to follow. Any investor coming into Guyana has to follow the rules and regulations of the investment, which has to have all of the Ministry of Finance's criteria met. Thank you. Right? One more issue. There, um, there are concerns about the uh, Cohen Brothers um, main strike. Um, I would, um, wanted to know if the uh, City Council has any ultimate payments to Cohen's uh, brother company. Yes, we've had, we have outstanding payments of Puran's brothers. We have outstanding payments of Sevan's brothers. But they will be paid. It's something that this new council would have inherited from the old council. We've always owed the contractors. I came in in 1994 and found them owing contractors. It's not a practice that we want to continue in, but it's a service that we have to provide for the citizens. And it's a service that costs us quite a number of dollars. I think it's like $40 million a month to have garbage cleared. And our main revenue sources as taxes and the markets. Those are our two main revenue sources. And that is why we have this urge to go after new revenue sources, which will be the parking meter, which will be the container fee, which will be other small fees that we're looking at, all open spaces that people occupy. They will have to pay for it. So you're seeking to um, end the, the practice of um, owing of course, I would not like to have the owe Puran and Sevans and all the contractors that are doing work for us all the time. The, oh, we should be running, managing, and I don't like to use the word run, we should be managing this city as a business. Because we provide services not only for collection of garbage and cleaning of drains, we have our maternal and child welfare, we have our daycares, we have the solid waste department, we have markets, we have other services that, that, that we provide. We got a cemetery, we spent a lot of money the other day to clean the cemetery, but the rain was not very kind to us over the past months and the cemetery is actually back to a forest state. We have to find money to maintain it. Right? So we are on a move for development and maintenance of works. We have to find revenue to make sure that we have every vendor properly housed because we only have up to the end of December with the Parliament if you vend them all. And so come January, February, we have to really get them to a proper place. We have to have money for investment. Okay. 
I can't put the council's assets at risk at all times. Thank you very much for your no problem. You too. <laughs>